Hey YouTube, happy President's Day. Ryan Knows Tech here with Tech Blog, techinform.us. Kind of a ha ha to a couple of my friends I've been talking to uh, recently about the next generation iPhone. Uh, the 4S we saw in October 2011. And here on Mac Rumors today, we've got just some rumors, some information about the iPhone 5's release, um, which is kind of pointing to the September and October timeframe. Pretty much says that this needs to be the new. Um, the new cycle, it'll be a 12 month um, cycle for each device, which is what we saw from the iPhone to the 3G, the 3G to the 3GS, the 3GS to the 4, but the 4 to the 4S was uh, about a year and a half from June 2010 till October 2011. So with the iPhone 5 comes with LTE networking, whatever processor the iPad 2 has, maybe better cameras, thinner case, something like that. Looks like we may see it in September to October of this year, 2012. Uh, personally, I would much rather see that than the June to, J to July timeframe. Uh, not only would that just suck for me, because I would have to pay a lot of money sooner to upgrade to a different phone, um, but it would yield a very, very short life cycle of only eight months for the 4S, which I think would tick off a lot of 4S buyers. Um, so hopefully uh, this is accurate, at least in my standpoint, it looks it looks like a good rumor. You know, what's a rumor? Uh, there's been no confirmation from Apple at all with any of this. Uh, but I just wanted to make this video um, bringing this to the table that we probably will not see an iPhone 5 until September or October 2012, which is fine with me. Uh, so leave your thoughts down below. Would you rather see one earlier? Do you think this is a good move uh, for Apple to keep their life cycle of the device 12 months, excluding the iPhone 4 at maybe 15 or 16 months? I think it is uh, good for business. I think September to October is a better time for people to buy an iPhone. It would be a better Christmas present, you know, a couple months later. Um, and then we'll, they'll be able to release them with iPod Touches and Nanos and whatever else they do then. So it kind of makes sense to have an iPad in the spring, an iPhone in the fall. It really puts those two devices about six months apart and uh, would make it easier for people to buy both instead of having them both come out so close to each other. Uh, that's a lot of money to spend in just a few months. So I think it's a good business decision and uh, only time will tell. So uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you haven't yet, please take a look at our site. We did a lot of work on it yesterday. Colt and I, big thanks to him. Links below, techinform.us. We got a lot of uh, updated posts up about Mountain Lion, uh, the App Store download deal that's going on right now, and then the iPad uh, that we'll hopefully hear about on Wednesday, March 7th. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what you saw here today. Like the video, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.